Simple people! I will cut off your head and feed it to the best of the earth! Yeah! 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 Hey, 
to whom we be forest to retrieve the dead bodies of our warriors. Igwe, you have spoken well. You have spoken well. Yakaje Tuki, Igwe. Umibe cannot kill our warriors and still stop us from taking back their dead bodies. Never. Especially that of DK, DK Jejemba. It's not possible. Adememe. So I support your ruling that we send warriors to Uibe to retrieve the dead bodies. Okay. Elders, Igwe, I greet you. Igwe, I support what Uno have just said. There is no how we will allow those bodies to remain in Uibe. Never! I welcome the idea of our warriors going to bring back those bodies. And we should do it fast. Because when a masquerade stays too long in the dressing room, it becomes an ordinary human being. Yes. Huh? Let me send you send to a Ruben to take other warriors of ours and move straight into the forest and retrieve the dead bodies of our warriors. This is my ruling. Maybe the man who shot the gun has taken the body away. No! Or maybe the white animal has devoured his corpse. No way! No way! At least we would have seen the carcass or at least a dress! I suggest we go back and tell the king that DK is dead. I think I agree with you so. Because this was exactly the same spot. We were mysteriously hit by that strange bullet. Let's leave this place at once. But I still maintain. What about the man who shot the gun? The case is dead. Yes. Yes!
ठीक है Okay. 
Do not shut the door. Leave it open. Maybe my ticket would sneak in. Like he usually does. He would always sneak in on me. To hold me. Kiss me. Cuddle me.
You want to count it? You want to count it, stingy man? Here in the bar, you can show me to keep it. Not Join DK wherever he is. No, no. I can't let you kill yourself. You are a beautiful woman, Urema. You should live and not die. Oh, where is the door? 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 No, 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 I get in there, I get in there, my I'm Bosom bottle. He was a prima donna. He was a protagonist, a great friend, a hero, a kind hearted man who loved the, the smiles and joy of others. I'll 
great mother. Did you assign the case death? Because I know that many men go fishing all their lives without knowing it is not fish they are after. <laughs> wise man sees more from the bottom of the well than a fool can see from the top of a mountain. Your friend DK trod against the cautions and admonitions from my mother, the great mother of the earth. I warned him. Oh yes, I did. Young wise one, but it is necessary to go a long distance out of the way in order to come back a short distance corrected. <laughs> also know ye that a journey of no destination can only be achieved by courage, wisdom and strength. I warned him about this impending danger, but he wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> Wise one, please. Is Dicky my friend alive? Go down, my king. No. That is what you keep telling me. Why can't you say something more? What do you want? I want you to be happy. I want you to live again. That is what I want.
complete distractions. You are paying too much attention to your emotions. You need to engage yourself in something. It's hard. I have tried, but it's hard. I see ticking in everything I touch. I perceive him. Even in the air. I shut my eyes at night to sleep. And I see DK's face. Instead of darkness. I can't even leave. No. Don't say that. I can't leave. You can't. I can't. You can't. I can't have tried. You have to try harder. First, you need to go out more. I mm -hmm. to go out? Mm -hmm. To the riverside. To sit alone by the waters. That is no outing, Uri, and you know it. What else would you do? Hmm? What else? My friend, why don't you return to your first love? Yes. Return to dance. Come back to us, your dance mates, and dance away your sorrows. Hmm? Remember what in the day, the son of the water goddess said to us the other day. He said that dance is life and that every other thing is noise. Hmm? You see, my friend, the mere discussion of dance brought that smile to your face. Hmm? Every day comes with the opportunity for us to just dance. Dance, my friend.
Yes, Your Majesty. Told you correctly, my king. You also told me that you are the one she's closer to and she confines in you. Yes, Your Majesty. I need your help. Tell them uh, that I will go a thousand miles, climb the hills and the valleys, cross oceans just to be with her. Yes, my king. Tell her that I love her just the way she is. That I want to mend her broken heart. That I want to fill the hole in her heart. Yes, my king. If you do this for me, girl, you will be like royalty for the rest of your life in this kingdom. I shall do your obedience, my king. I have Uruma's ears. And I shall feel them the talks of you. Oh. That sounds like music to my ears. If my king pleases, I would love to leave now. Thank you, my king. I know how much you love and miss the king. But you can't wait forever. You're still too young to remain a widow. I insist you move on with your life. Eberi, I am moving on with my life already. I was with you girls at the dance rehearsal earlier today. Wasn't I? You need to do more than dancing. How do you mean? You need to leave me alone. Exactly what are you trying to tell me? What I am saying is, that man loves you so much. You need to give him access into your heart. He loves you. How do you know that? The eyes. The eyes. The eyes do not lie. I see the way he looks at you, the way he smiles at you, the way he talks to you. And he even spoke to me about you. He spoke to you? Mm -hmm. And that is why he called me here. Now listen to me, baby. Let this be the last time you will call me to discuss my life with me. It is my life. And I am leaving it how I please. If you love the king that much, go and marry him yourself. Get it from me. Are you married? Mm. You're not married. Mm. Go and marry him. Orima! Who lives here? Who lives here? Greetings, beautiful lady. Greetings. The king sent us to you. The king? Yeah, King Nana sent us to be with this. I wouldn't know my lady. I am not your lady. All right, can go now. Hey, all these are 
beautiful. Hey! Somehow, chai. Hey! Negozi, eh? Soma, eh? Nene, 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 Chai! Very beautiful, isn't it? Eh? My Oma. Chai! Eh? It's me, Nanya, my only mom, who talk again. Hmm. Miss me, you know, you go. Ah! Oh, Gini! I told me, Nega, I need to say. Eh? Pico, che, 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 what is wrong with you? You have chosen to cry over a man that lost his life in battle. I don't like this. I'm tired. That man happens to be the only man that I ever truly loved. That man happens to be the only man that ever truly made me happy. That man happens to be the only thing that made me feel complete. He made me feel like I had everything. man was my strength. He made me so strong even in my weakest moments. He was the light that brightened my life when I was in my darkest moment. That man chased away all my fears. He was my true friend. He was my husband. I loved him. I still love him! It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my friend. Please, stop crying. I'm sorry. Hmm? Stop crying. Stop crying, Pico. Look at this mouth. Stop crying. Take care. Take care and I will like two interlocked cows. We were in San Remo. We went everywhere together. We did everything together. We shared everything together. We were made for each other. We were made. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Biko, Biko, I'm begging you. Nigga! It's okay. Nigga!
happy too. Lima. Yeah. As this water continues to flow, this is how I want our milk to rest. I attach more importance to love and work than to meditation. Meditation without love is enough. But love without meditation is not. If you have something to say to me, please say it in a language I can understand. Daughter of Unkwa and Chitabok. I believe we are solely responsible for our choices. We have to accept the consequences of our deeds, word, thoughts throughout our lifetime. I believe that you are trying to excommunicate the Osufago diadenum from the Osipeta lobe of the ilium of my friend. I believe it. Truly, you have nothing to say to me. Wait, daughter of Ngwa. A flower in the garden might not be the prettiest, but it might still have the loveliest fragrance. There is more to truth 
than mere fact. Dr. Ofonkwa, follow your heart. Because when you smile, your heart smiles. When you grieve, it grieves. The ball is in your court, daughter of Ongwa. Always remember what I said, daughter of Umpa and Chitabok. Follow your heart. What do you want? Forgiveness. I should not have spoken to you that way. My friend, I hold no grudges against you. All I was seeking for was your good. I know. to the gods for this food.
Spitz. See me eat. What else do you want from me? I'm your husband. Please sit down and eat with me. to you, my friend. <laughs> hmm. Praises to the gods. You survived. Hmm. Where am I? Huh? Who are you? Hmm? Too many questions. Huh? Anyway, my name is Agumba. She used me to save your life. What happened? My warriors. Hey, calm down. Calm down, my friend. It's too long a story to be rushed. Huh? Anyway. This is my lovely sister, Uma. Yes, she told me. That she's my sister? No, she says she's Uma. Okay, Ma, go get his food while I prepare the items for his treatment. Okay. And why are you looking suspiciously at me? 
Huh? If I were harmful, you would have been a dead man by now. <laughs> so relax. Take it easy. Excuse me. Let me get your treatment. <laughs> This is your food. Go on, eat it. You will like it. You don't like it? I prepared it very special for you. Go on and eat it. Look, it's not poisoned. If you wanted it dead, you'd be dead a long time ago. Okay, fine. I'll I will test it to prove my claim. Still haven't told me your name. DK. DK. Such a fine name. For a fine man. Oh, DK. Huh. I was hiding in the bush that fateful day when I had footsteps. I immediately knew they were warriors from Umweze. I picked up my gun and decided to kill them all. I shot some of them down. Why some escaped, leaving the corpses behind. I came out from the bush to the corpse, only to discover you are still alive. I immediately made to kill you, just like I did others. Behold, there was a resisting force, resisting force on my soul. 
suddenly I had this compelling urge not to kill you, but to save your life. So, I brought you back home and began the treatment. That is the story. Chokey came out, really love you. Yes, thanks to him and to both of you for sparing my life. Mm. You've been so nice to me. Thank you so much. DK, what is it? Are you not happy to be alive? Of course I'm happy, Agumba. Why do you suddenly wear this long face? I was warned not to embark on this battle. Huh? Is, is, is he not again? There's this young boy in my kingdom. He tried all he could to make me see the danger attached to coming to Inwebe to fight. But I wouldn't listen. Huh. This young boy whom you speak about, does he have spiritual powers to foretell? Agumba. Yes, TK. He even indirectly tried to make me see this conspiracy. But I was too blind to see it. It's a conspiracy. What exactly are you talking about? It's so confusing. But from what I saw that day, before I passed out, I could sense a conspiracy. <laughs> Floating in the air, you're getting my brain more confused. I don't understand. Agumba, I saw my own warriors walk away from me. They all deserted me. Huh? What? Allah. Ebube. Hey, Ebube. Hey, that I trusted my own life. You feel? May the gods forbid. But, but maybe it was a mistake. It is not a mistake, no man. If I see a mistake, I will recognize it. I will. Oh, this time. No. This is spiritual. Medicine. <laughs> he's recovering so fast. Yeah. Of course. That's because he's in the hands of the best traditional healer in town, ma. <laughs> Out. I want to go to bed. My body aches. <laughs> Even where you're not the one injured. Shh. Okay. 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 Are you okay? 
I have to go. What? I have to go home. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? Huh? Hey, well, this is your home, DK. Yes, this is my home. But this is not my home. Uh, I have to go home to my lovely wife. Your wife? Are you married? Yes. Uh, I'm married to a lovely woman. You can't go. What? Your wounds are still not healed. Besides, she told us that it was your own follow word that stopped you. Yes, There's DK. obviously a conspiracy from your kingdom to kill you. DK. Mama is making sense. That way of yours must have been paid to kill you. And if he and the people who hired him set their eyes on you, they want to finish what they've already started. I'm not a coward. That's DK, not what I'm it's never a coward. So what are you saying? What Ma is saying is you should stay back and allow your wound to heal first. So you can be in a stronger shape when you face your enemies. I The main reason why you shouldn't go until you're fit enough to fight. I agree with Ma again on this one. What if things go wrong before you return? I'll go to your kingdom. Huh? Ma? I'll disguise as one of them. Hmm? Yeah. I'll find out what is happening. I'm going to read the current situation reports. Hmm. That's a good one. Spiritualism talked about. How is my very own DK, by the way? And so, King Nana wanted Urema by all means. Even after he learned she's another man's wife? Especially after he learned she was another man's wife. Huh. And because one sin will always lead the sinner into another. King Kunana's lost after Urima made him to stay the fake war. He sent her husband Dike to lead the warriors. He bribed one of the warriors to strike Dike to death in battlefront. And he took his wife? Without hesitation. How could Urima rush into the arms of another man so soon? But why won't she? I mean, a woman has to wait if there's something she feels is to be waited for. In her own case, her husband DK died in battlefront. So King Nana and his band of evil dwarfs made every man and woman to understand in this kingdom except me. So, who happens now? The girls are angry. Their silence is about to be broken. Calamity approaches the blood of the innocent men and women who King Nana killed cries out from the ground for vengeance. I see the gods arising in their anger, destroying all the enemies of Umweze. What about the king? Who happens to me? Oh, my very own DK. He will cry like a river when he hears that is very beautiful wife Urima is in the arms of another man.
I am empty, Aguba. Okay. Aguba! Umweze! Umweze! What do you want from Umweze? Umweze! Ah! Man! Ah! Ah! Okay, calm down. Ah! Umweze! Okay, will give you another woman who will love you and stay with you through thick and thin. A woman who will never for any reason rush into the arms of another man in your absence. But you've got to wipe your tears so you can recognize the woman when she comes your way. Leave me alone, Mama. TK, TK, please. You break my heart when you talk like this. Rima is gone with the wind. But you still have us. You still have me. I'm here for you, DK. i 
Listen, I want to pretend this moment of madness never occurred. The next time you pull a stunt as horrible as this, I swear to my G, your brother will hear this. I'm sorry. Please do not say one of this to my brother. I promise, so long as you will not get this crazy, I am married to a very beautiful woman. No matter what, no matter what the man, I have principles. Listen, I am not the kind of man you're looking for. Please. Man, get out. Out! Ma, what is it? I have a secret. My eyes can no longer behold this abomination. My heart cannot hold it any longer. Ma, what is it? Talk to us. I will not join my brother and destroy my own kingdom. I will not do it. I cannot. I must confess. Young lady, speak up now. Uncle, no, Uncle. Against my advice. My brother has been having one of you made a woman who came to fight us and mercilessly slaughtered our people. What? my friend. <laughs> I still remember the very first day I set my eyes on you in the forest. I remember everything just like it was yesterday. Yeah? <laughs> the blood stains, your livelessness, even the pain which you couldn't express. Thank you. Thank you, Agumba. Oh. You are a good man. Thank you for sparing my life. Thank you. Dike, you should be thanking Chukke and not me. But still, I have to say thank you to you, Agumba. Agumba, I, I have to say thank you to you because it is spiritual. For me to be alive, Agumba, oh. it is spiritual. My friend, no man receives anything except Shiokike gives it to him first. Huh? You should be thanking Shiokike. Yes. <laughs> DK! How are you going? DK! <laughs>
Let's search around properly. Check there, check there. He could be hiding around. Oh, no, 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 Show yourself, Ndode! Show yourself! I see. Igwe Nana sent you idiots to kill me with swords. <laughs> the wind blows. You cannot see it, but can only feel its presence. So is everyone born of the spirit? I am one of them. <laughs> you lie, Ndode! Today is your last day! Show yourself! How dare you speak about my king in such a manner? How dare you? Then you 
evil deeds of you and King Kamama, Dami! People of Umweze, these are the men who have brought so much calamities upon our land. Some time ago, King Ganana set his eyes on Urima, Dike's wife. He wanted her by all means. He chased her. Where is Ebube? Ebube! Come and take this possessed boy out of my palace. Get! Ebube is dead. He and his warriors died while trying to kill me as you sent them to do. This is a replica of what I call acrobatic jingoism. Some time ago, King Nana set his eyes on Urima, Dike's wife. He wanted her by all means. He and Akwika, his Onohu, connived and staged a fake war against Umwibe. Yes, Umwibe was innocent. The attack on our people that made us want a revenge against Umwibe was all a setup. Hey. This is, is what I call sadomachosism. <laughs> that is it! Sadomachosism! That is it! He wanted DK to go to war. He bribed Ebube to desert DK. Hey. This is what my French friend Asen Om says. The one who regretted us, that was back the fire. Woman of extraordinary beauty. Is this what you left DK for? I thought you said you loved him forever. I still love him. I know. <laughs> Ndudi, is he still alive? Is DK still alive? Yes. <laughs> DK is alive. <laughs> he is within. Yes. I can feel his presence. The wind brings him closer. <laughs> oh, welcome, great son of Obiagu, the greatest hunter of our time. Welcome. <laughs> Look at me in the eyes, evil man. Vassos! Look at me in the eyes. Nana, you do not deserve to be a king. Yes! yes. You are a disgrace to leadership. Yes! yes. You are a total disgrace to leadership, Nana! I fought for this kingdom. Yes. You are right. With my whole life. Ensuring that you have dominion all over this region. I was a high wall that made this kingdom absolutely impenetrable. You try to kill me, Nana. Hey! Just to take my love, Urema. The only woman I loved with my whole life. What did I get in return? Evil. Evil! Tell me! Umaze! Is this what a lawyer servant deserves? No! No! no. Not at all! Not at all! Hey. Hey. Tell me! 
Is this what a lawyer servant deserves? No! 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 You will answer me! You will answer me when I ask questions! Wise one! What do the gods say? Did you hear the sounds of forgiveness? <laughs> Not at all, DK! The gods say we cut off their heads yes. and use yes. their bloods to cleanse the land! Yes! 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 yes. yes.
Na nyama 